Hola, welcome to the Good News Roundup. We have five good news stories to cheer up your day. Scotland has become the first country to make access to free period products a legal right. Then we have a story about a resourceful 17-year-old who has designed by himself a motor that could potentially transform the electric car industry. The world's second largest emitter of greenhouse gases, the United States, has taken a significant step forward to tackle climate change that no one saw coming. After that, we take a look at a new study that says using smartphones does not make us as lazy as we thought. Lastly, a project that is using artificial intelligence to preserve Ukraine's cultural heritage. Scotland is now the first country in the world to make free period products a legal requirement, a key step towards tackling period poverty. One in every 10 girls in the United Kingdom is unable to afford tampons or sanitary towels. The Scottish government says it has invested more than 32 million euros to fund access to period products in a range of public settings. Local authorities and educational institutions in Scotland are now legally obliged to provide free sanitary products to anyone who needs them. Back in 2018, Scotland became the first country to provide free sanitary products in schools, colleges, and universities. A mobile app by the name of Pick Up My Period, launched earlier this year by a social enterprise called Hey Girls, will tell women and girls the nearest place where they can get hold of period products. What have you been doing with your spare time lately? Because this 17-year-old natural-born engineer has completed at least 60 engineering projects. His name is Robert Samson, and his latest research could potentially transform the electric car industry, paving the way for sustainable manufacturing of electric vehicles. It all started a couple of years ago, when Samson became aware of the disadvantages of electric cars in a video of his own line. He learned that most electric car motors require magnets made from rare earth elements, which have a tremendous cost, both financially and environmentally. What Samson did was to repurpose a type of widely commercialized electric motor that doesn't use these rare earth magnets and is often used for pumps and fans. A standard fan motor is not powerful enough to run a vehicle, of course, but the American teenager has managed to improve its performance, creating a powerful prototype from 3D printed plastic, copper wires, and a steel rotor. The winner of the $75,000 George D. Yankopoulos Innovator Award is Robert Sanson. His work has earned him the first prize at this year's Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair and an award of 75,000 American dollars. In recent years, the United States has not really been known for its efforts to stop climate change. But this month, however, the second largest producer of greenhouse gases in the world has just passed a bill that will include the biggest climate investment in its history. Called the Inflation Reduction Act, the bill includes a promise of 361 billion euros to be spent on renewable energy. And experts have estimated that it could cut emissions in the US by around 40% by 2030. The bill will extend a number of tax breaks for renewable energy. The Inflation Reduction Act also includes billions of dollars to help communities suffering from heavy pollution to monitor and reduce it, and introduces the first methane fee, which will penalize companies emitting excessive amounts of it. And here's another staggering figure. The reduction in pollution that the bill should bring about could save almost 4,000 lives a year by 2030. We all like to blame our smartphones for making us lazy and forgetful, but a new study from the University College of London suggests that they might actually be enhancing our memory skills. The research revealed that digital devices help people store and prioritize information. Smartphones seem to help clear headspace, making us better at remembering things, as well as reinforce the act of remembering things we consider important. 
we hear phrases like digital amnesia or digital dementia. What we found is actually the opposite of this. We found that when people store information in a digital device, this actually frees up space in their own brain. When people store information in a reminder, this helps them to remember the information they've saved. That's hardly surprising. What's more interesting is that it allows people to remember additional information which they never saved to begin with. There's no evidence that smartphones harm our ability to remember. Our short-term memory is very limited indeed. So it makes sense to store some information in an external device, which then frees our ability to remember additional information with our own memory. A group of Ukrainians under the name of Skeron is working to restore cultural sites damaged by the war in Ukraine. Using a special laser and artificial intelligence, they are creating 3D models of the country's historical buildings and monuments, which could be used to help restore these sites if they are destroyed. The team has been concerned about the fate of Ukraine's cultural heritage for many years, and Skaren already had more than 100 sites in their archive of 3D models. The initiative aims to maximize the team's efforts by inviting conservationists and other professionals, as well as simply amateurs, to scan their way through Ukraine and preserve the country's historical memory, whenever the circumstances allow. Now we feel a lot of support, a lot of support from abroad. For us, it's very important to tell our story and what we are doing, just told about Ukraine and what we are doing and how helpful for future generation. If you enjoyed this Good News Roundup and want to hear more, let us know in the comments and share our stories with your friends. And remember, it can be hard to find among the headlines, but some news can be good news.